Hello everyone, and welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Are you feeling stressed out from your work? It's time to take a break and immerse yourself in the natural beauty of the vast citrus orchards across the United States. With their refreshing taste and high nutritional value, citrus have become a popular fruit in the United States. Did you know that American farmers harvest 4.9 million tons of tangerines each year? That is really an amazing number. Growing and harvesting such large quantities of tangerines requires the support of modern machinery. In today's video, we will follow American farmers through the entire process of growing, harvesting, and processing citrus. Let's get started. California and Florida are the heartlands of American citrus farming, with climates that perfectly match the needs of these trees. Grafting is a popular method of propagating citrus trees, allowing farmers to produce trees that produce fruit faster and maintain desirable characteristics. In this process, a scion is attached to the rootstock of a young tree. The rootstock is chosen for its disease resistance and adaptability to soil conditions, while the scion determines the type of citrus fruit produced. The grafted parts are tied together to promote growth, and as the scion takes root, it begins to grow as part of the rootstock, eventually forming a single, productive tree. Once the seedlings are strong enough, they can be separated from the base and planted in soil. After about six months in the nursery, farmers can plant the young tree in the garden. Planting typically occurs in early spring, with young trees planted at strategic intervals to ensure enough space for root and canopy development. In dry regions like California, drip irrigation systems are often used to deliver precise amounts of water directly to each tree's roots, helping conserve water and support stable growth, especially during the early stages. Additionally, farmers use machinery for both fertilization and pruning to optimize the care process. Automated fertilizer spreaders are programmed to distribute nutrients, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, at key times, like budding or fruit setting, to ensure strong and even growth. These machines apply fertilizer in the form of mist, allowing plants to absorb nutrients directly through the leaves. Pruning is also done with machinery, particularly in large citrus orchards. Automatic pruning machines help remove weak or dead branches, allowing the trees to receive adequate sunlight and airflow, reducing disease risk. This method not only saves time, but also provides farmers with high precision, ensuring each tree has the ideal shape for growth. Citrus trees can get yellow leaf disease during growth, causing the tree to die, so farmers must use special medicine to help the tree grow healthy. After two to three years, citrus trees reach maturity and start to bear fruit. Blooming usually begins in spring. Citrus blossoms are fragrant and attract pollinators, especially bees, which help increase fruit yield. These flowers bloom for a few days, during which they are pollinated to produce fruit. Although citrus flowers can self-pollinate, bees play a crucial role in enhancing pollination efficiency, helping the orchards achieve higher yields and better fruit quality. After six to eight months from flowering, the citrus fruits are ready for harvest. Picking begins when fruits reach their full color and sweetness. Before harvesting, fruits are sampled to measure sweetness and quality. Only fully ripe fruits are selected, ensuring that customers receive the best flavor and texture. To prevent bruising, citrus fruits are generally picked by hand. Workers use specialized tools, such as clippers and ladders, to harvest the fruits safely and efficiently. Each worker will carry a bag with them so that they can directly put the citrus fruits in it. Once the bag is full, they go to the large containers to pour the citrus fruits into it. For the fruits that are high up, they use a small ladder to climb directly up and pick them from the tree. Workers, often seasonal laborers, earn around $10, $15 per hour, depending on experience and region. Each fruit is placed carefully in baskets or crates to avoid damage and transported to processing facilities. Besides, mechanical harvesting is also applied on large farms. A canopy shaker is typically a large machine that can either be mounted on a tractor or operate as a self-driving unit, moving down rows of trees. It has long, flexible rods extending from the machine's body that reach out to the branches, creating gentle vibrations that cause ripe fruits to drop. 
These vibrations are calibrated to shake only the ripe fruit from the trees, leaving unripe fruit intact and avoiding any damage to the branches. The fallen fruit is collected on mats or conveyor belts below, then moved into storage bins. Some machines are equipped with large catch frames that wrap around the tree canopy, neatly capturing the fruit as it falls. Canopy shakers can harvest much faster than manual picking, saving time during peak harvest season. They are commonly used in major citrus growing regions like Florida and California, where orchards are planted and arranged specifically to work well with this type of machinery. Each of these machines costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. But for large farms, the money is well worth it to improve harvesting efficiency. There is also another type of machine called a tree shaker. The machine has a long rod when shaking the tree, the citrus fruits fall down and the farmer can pick them up on the ground. Or, there is also a type of machine equipped with a net to support the citrus fruits to fall straight into it. In some streets where citrus trees are planted, they also use this machine to harvest the fruit. After harvesting, citrus fruits are transported to the sorting line. The first step in processing citrus fruits involves thoroughly washing them to remove any dirt, dust, and residual chemicals. They are often passed through a series of water baths or sprayed with water jets to rinse off surface contaminants. Some facilities may also use gentle brushing systems to ensure the fruits are cleaned without damaging their skins. To prevent contamination, the water used is typically filtered and treated, and some facilities add a mild food-safe sanitizer to ensure the fruits are free from bacteria and fungi. After washing, citrus fruits move on to a sorting and grading stage. Here, they go through optical sorting machines equipped with advanced sensors and cameras that analyze each fruit's size, color, and surface quality. The machine can detect minor blemishes, discoloration, and other imperfections, sorting the fruits into categories based on appearance. Fruits that don't meet quality standards are often redirected for juice production, ensuring that only the highest quality fruits continue to the fresh market. Size sorting. Fruits are measured for uniformity, often using grids or rotating drums with size-specific holes to separate different fruit sizes. Color and blemish detection. Optical sensors identify the exact color and check for any discoloration, which may indicate overripeness or bruising. Surface flaws are also detected, ensuring only visually appealing fruits make it to the packing stage. Once sorted, the fruits are ready for packing. High-quality citrus fruits are packed into boxes that are lined with protective padding to prevent bruising during transportation. Each box is carefully filled to avoid any excess pressure on the fruits at the bottom. And often, fruits are individually separated with dividers or cushioned layers to maintain their quality. After packing, each box is labeled with essential information that helps maintain quality control and traceability. Labels typically include origin, harvest date, storage instructions. Next, we go to the orange juice factory. At a citrus juice processing facility, the freshly harvested oranges, mandarins, or other citrus fruits first undergo a thorough washing to remove any dirt, pesticide residues, and other contaminants. Once cleaned, the fruits are sorted for quality, with only the ripest and undamaged fruits moving forward in the juicing process. The citrus fruits are then fed into industrial juicing machines, where the juice is extracted by separating the pulp, seeds and peels. After extraction, the juice is filtered to ensure a smooth consistency and remove any remaining solids. The filtered juice is then pasteurized at a controlled temperature to kill harmful bacteria while retaining flavor and nutrients. Quality control checks are performed on each batch to test for taste, acidity and safety, ensuring a high quality product. Finally, the juice is bottled in a sterile environment labeled with nutritional information and production details 
and prepared for storage and shipping, ready to reach consumers in fresh, top quality condition. We've now explored the entire journey of citrus fruits, from sunlit orchards to the final glass of refreshing juice. Every step, from careful soil preparation to meticulous harvesting and processing, requires skill, effort, and technology. So next time you sip your orange juice, remember the dedication of farmers and workers who bring these fruits to your table. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more agricultural insights. See you in the next video.